Another thing that came out in 2020 is the PSMA scan for FDA approval. And this is super exciting because we've been talking about PSMA scans on the PCRI channel for quite some time. And the um, exciting things that are going to happen because we can now see so much more of what's going on inside the body. So can you explain how PSMA works and also um, what type of approval it got in FDA for 2020? Uh, PSMA PET scans are sort of a dream come true for prostate cancer. The question in someone with prostate cancer is where has the disease spread to or has it spread at all? And historically, the scans that we've used, bone scans, CAT scans, have given sort of a rough and ready answer to that, which is not adequate. PSMA PET scans are not only far more accurate but, uh, in terms of finding little tiny specks of cancer, but they're also very specific only for prostate cancer. So if they light up, unlike other scans where you see a shadow and you have to kind of assume it might be prostate cancer based on patterns, if uh, the PSMA PET scan lights up, it basically says that is prostate cancer. So uh, it it's going to change the way we practice. One of the fascinating uh, issues, uh, and I just talked to Dr. Margolis about this last week, is the possibility that men could, uh, maybe elderly men who are nervous about having a prostate biopsy, could they just have a PSMA PET scan? And if it doesn't light up in the prostate, why bother to do a biopsy? So that is an idea that the scan is almost as accurate as getting a MRI or a, uh, or a prostate biopsy is very exciting. And then also men that are on active surveillance with rising PSAs, the more elderly ones. The big concern is, has the cancer spread? And uh, if it hasn't spread in someone in their late 70s or 80s, can they just keep watching uh, their prostate cancer, even if the PSA is starting to go higher than what we would normally be comfortable with? Uh, because it's really the spread of the cancer that hurts people, not the rising PSA. And then the other applications are pretty obvious. I mean, in newly diagnosed men, uh, if there's no early spread of cancer outside the prostate, are they still going to need hormone therapy, which is so commonly given to these men with higher Gleason scores? Maybe yes, maybe no. And, uh, and then in, when they do find cancers uh, that are outside the prostate, they can be targeted with IMRT or SBRT. So it's a totally revolutionary technology that's going to have an impact in all stages of prostate cancer. So when will we see this be widely available in the U.S. for patients? So right now the research centers like UCSF and UCLA uh, can obtain these scans and they, um, there may be a charge associated with it, whereas when things are FDA approved, insurance takes over. Medicare will pay for it. So right now they're trying to assign the billing codes and that may take three to six months or something of that nature. So people that have to have a scan right now can uh, go to some of the university centers around the country. Uh, people that can afford to wait another three to six months, it's going to be available in multiple locations. The infrastructure for PET scans is already installed across the United States. It's just the ac actual PSMA substance that gets injected into the bloodstream that needs to be manufactured and distributed commercially. So should all newly diagnosed patients be getting a PSMA scan from the start? Men that are candidates for active surveillance with low-grade uh, Gleason 6 prostate cancers shouldn't do the scan. We already know that they don't have any spread, and uh, if the scan showed something, you'd have to wonder, is it a false positive? And uh, that could just confuse things. But in anyone who we feel there's a risk, at least in sevens and aboves, uh, it's a very natural thing to consider getting a scan. And anyone who has relapse, should they be getting a PSMA scan? I think it's the standard of care right now. The whole idea with relapse and prostate cancer is the hope that you can still cure it. And if you can find it and treat it, uh, that offers the opportunity for cure. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like more information, you can visit our website at pcri.org. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We come out with new prostate cancer videos every week.